Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Solution and Reviewing Rig. Uh, a follower called and asked me about this stock. Uh, she is in it long overnight with a really huge position ever since 2015 at around $16. And I don't know the exact date that she bought it, but uh, she's down $30,000 in it. I guess it has earnings out tomorrow, she said, and uh, she's been down in it for pretty much all of two years. At one point, she said she was down only $5,000 last year, and she really should have killed it then, but she's been suffering down in this position and losing sleep at night for two years. It's a terrible, terrible long. Why? The stock is in a downtrend. <clears throat> so you can't be long something like this. So she's been down most of the time since she took the position. And if you find yourself down a lot of money in something, I know it's hard to kill it because you feel like you got to get it back to break even at least or something. The chances of this, you know, being worse and coming down to nine or eight or eight fifty is is higher than it going back to sixteen dollars because the stock is going down and has been going down and really is not a good long. The other thing I noted to her was that the market is so strong. So the whole time from 2015, let's just take a look since she's been in it. Again, I don't know the date, but really 2015 to 2017, here we are, look to see SPY. So the SPY's been traveling up, rig has been down. There was, looks like no hope for recovery for that stock. So it's, it's just half a dozen one or the other sometimes when you're in a bad trade, what do you do? I mean, this is why it is extremely important to money manage yourself. You don't let something go to zero, you know, and lose your whole account. You have to make a decision and realize sometimes you took a bad trade. And, and I also wouldn't give something a long time to, to, to dump it. So if you find you took a position and you're down in it very quickly in a few days or one or two days or more than a week, I mean, I'm just... And that's even a long time. The best thing to do is to kill the trade. It's not right. When I take entries and trades, they go right into the money 99% of the time. So it's very noticeable to me if something doesn't go right away into the money, whether I'm doing a day trade or an option trade, that something's not right. Sometimes it takes a day or two, but for the most part, the trades that I do go immediately. You can always get out of the trade and get back in if you decide to later. But letting something go and be down an enormous amount of money waiting and hoping and praying for it to get back is not the right thing to do because you can lose even more. So I hate to see people lose money, but rig is in a downtrend and it isn't a good buy. And tomorrow morning, if there is earnings on it or if it's tomorrow night, I don't know when it reports, anything could happen here. Could it gap up? Yes. Do I think it gaps up to $16? No. Could it gap down to 8 Yes. So I think that the best thing to do sometimes is to just take your lickens and take the loss, and everybody has to do that. Not every trade you take works, but this was not a good buy. This was not a good buy, and so uh, hopefully Patty will, will be taking my class this year because uh, she's got to learn when to get in stuff um, in the right direction. So we wish her lots of luck with this. And if you're interested in my Golden Gap class, the next dates for the next class are May 20th and 21st. I think. Let me just double check the calendar. Yes, May 20th and 21st. If you're interested to sign up, email me at melissa at the stocks, Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.